when we realised that we could climb across the underside of bridges. Yay! That was like light bulb moment. Bridges are made with cracks in them. <laughs> Perfect splitter. Maybe somewhere we could find the mother bridge roof crack. Tom is going a little bit mad. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. This is it. I found it, Pete. The dorm wall of bridges is like El Cap, but like that. We think it's about two and a half thousand foot long. Around 80 pitches. 80? 80, eight, zero. Whose idea was this? We just go ground up from the start, back to back, 513. <sighs> Multiple days of climbing. Death by 5,000 hand jam. Whoa. Sleeping up there. We got pizza! Oh. The dirt and the grime and the noise of traffic. Everything hurts. Although it's ridiculous. Oh shit, what are they doing? And it's stupid. Please have turned up. Oh crikey. It's also a world-class climbing achievement. Are you going feet first today, Pete? The biggest, most insane crack ever climbed. I have never seen something that hard. Climbable by a human being. Which is Charles. Oui, monsieur. Like he is the strongest climber in Fontainebleau, one of the strongest in the world, and he's climbing barefoot. What is this? This is freaking me out. He's grabbing with his toes. Nobody else has really done that. When you start climbing, people tell you I, all you need is a pair of climbing shoes. Turns out it's wrong. <laughs> Charles represents the spirit of bloc, the spirit of bouldering. The minimum of material. Doesn't even use a crash pad have to consider the danger. And all he's trying is the hardest projects. It's like, dude, why are you even trying them? They're not possible. It gets boring to try something you're certain you can do. That's what it takes to push the limit of bouldering. <gasps> Big moves, really shitty holes. <laughs> it's a project only for Sean. Just like this character that everyone wants to know about. What he leaves. This is my cave. <laughs> what he eats. Collecting chestnuts for the winter. <laughs> With this life, I don't need to work, so I can just climb and do whatever I want. Like make wine or singing. <laughs> I think it's important to question the obvious. <laughs> The swarm is this iconic boulder problem. Ten years ago, no woman had done it, and no woman in the world had done V14 yet. I wanted to shatter that glass ceiling. Oh, that was it. And I posted on social media, big things to come. But it ended up even bigger than I expected. Years of public failure, self-loathing, self-doubt. I mean, it broke me and forced me to face who I really was. I had been hiding for so long, coming out was terrifying. But for the first time in my life, I felt like, oh, I can breathe, I can move. I was floating. Like I had been climbing my entire life with a weight vest on. Flash for Alex Johnson, new overall leader. And always, always in the back of my mind, the swarm was still out there. Even as the person that I am now, I'm so afraid of it. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, come on. But that's the core of what makes us climbers. Why? Come on. You face all your demons head on. I like pain. I like it a lot. Yes, come on. Go tight, grab it. Yes, come on. Hang everything you got. Everything you got. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stay, stay, stay. The cuddle is the continental divide ultimate link up. Trying to climb all the iconic peaks in Rocky Mountain National Park in a single push. 20 plus thousand feet of elevation gain, like 35 miles. When Alex and I get together, we go huge. At this point, Tommy and I have done enough things together, they're all terrible. <laughs> or they're all amazing, depending how you look at it. But this whole idea actually came from Adam Stack. <laughs> Adam was my childhood best friend, this young crusher, but then he moved to Florida. I put on 40 pounds, trying to like jumpstart my life again. Called up Tommy with this crazy idea. How you feeling? I feel like I'm in a girl. Altitude getting to you? I think it's my partner. I couldn't keep up with Tommy. So I had to call in the big gun. Oh yeah. Superman Alex shows up. I'm off the team now. When you're with Honold, you just keep going no matter what. All these movies, everyone's like, oh, Alex is the sketchy one. Tommy's not 
unsketchy is all I'm saying. Leading on the six mil static line, it looks like a shoelace. Free soloing a thousand foot big wall in our tennis shoes. Man, I think I would really love free soloing if it wasn't dangerous. Oh, it's not. <laughs> After the first seven or eight mountains, things started to unravel. Oh boy. We have no food or headlamps or pants. If it's not windy tonight, we could be okay without pants. <laughs> oh. Anytime you have to cuddle because you're so cold, you're kind of bummed. Our only hope is Adam Stack. Imagine that. The two best rock climbers in the world need to be rescued. <laughs> so here we go. I'm trying to find my buddies. Whoa. I was worried, but also a little excited to see them suffer. <laughs> Look at this. It's actually a really beautiful frame. I hope I win an Emmy for this.